feel like we're able to go a little bit faster now as I get used to the car. Whoa. Nice little save there. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to an It's Joel special video where I'm going to teach you how to rob a bank. No, only joking. As you can probably tell from the cars behind me and what I'm wearing on my head, we are here for a track day in Wales. I'm at Lando Circuit in my Porsche Boxster here on an Auto ID sponsored track day. It's a private day sponsored by Auto ID and well, I'm very happy to be here because I've never taken my Boxster on track. Of course, I've not had it long, but it will be my first mid-engine track experience. Quick change of scenery then. I've got in the car because it's frightfully cold, very windy, you probably can't hear a word I'm saying, and my camera blew over and broke. So I'm sulking in the car now, but it's not gonna detract from the fantastic day we're gonna have in the Porsche. I'm about to get suited up and go out on track in this for the first time. And I'm just super excited to see what it's like because it being mid-engined and high revving, it should be really good fun. And since I found out in the last video that these brakes are quite new, I'm expecting them to be pretty good too. So I'll get suited up now. We'll go out on track. We'll take advantage of the sunshine whilst it's out. I'm just gonna have as much fun as humanly possible. Let me just say a big thank you to Auto ID for sponsoring this video. Auto ID are a global retailer and distributor of premium automotive styling parts and accessories for all sorts of manufacturers. They sell a very extensive range of products for various types of cars and you can look at their shop through their Instagram page or their website. But what's best is with my code JOEL5 you can receive 5% off your order. Visit Auto ID. Put in your make and model of car and get inspired as to what you can do with it. And of course, if you do decide to make a purchase at all, do use the code JOEL5 and you'll receive 5% off. Now, time for the track day. So the weather is, well, to say the least, marginal today. It's wet on track at the moment and so I'm going to take it easy. For once in its JOEL history, I'm not going to go full send in the first five seconds. Although we'll see, won't we, when we actually get on there. So let's just get that all tightened up. That feels good. There we go. Let's put the lights on. And we're ready. And we're on. I'm leaving the traction control on for now. And Lando Circuit, this is my first time ever driving on here. And this will be my first time properly driving my Porsche Boxster S in anger. So we'll take it nice and easy to start with. Get used to the car and how it feels. Let's turn the air off there. The little heel and toe into second. Tap the brakes, turn in there. And we have leaves on track here, so we definitely don't want to be running wide. Mid-engine cars, from what I understand, when they go, well, they go. Oh, this car sounds awesome. We'll let this faster Audi pass. Bit of understeer there, so we've got to watch that corner. Obviously the tyres are nowhere near up to temperature yet. Okay, 
So let's demonstrate this then. We're doing 45, 50 miles an hour here, out of here, half on the power. Oh, a little bit of slip there. To the top of second, 72 miles per hour. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. 95 at just over 6,000 RPM, going hard on the brakes. They feel really confident and inspiring, actually, these brakes, much more so than my Z4. You saw the last video, you'll know that that's probably because these brakes are pretty new. This corner I don't like, and the car doesn't seem to like it. We're just washing out every time. Traction kinked in there for the first time. I'm gonna go to second on this corner. Sorry, third. Again, hard on the power there, it's about 90. Heel and toe to second. Take the chicane a bit faster. Feel like the car's getting a little bit more grip now. But we're just going to watch this right-hander as we washed out a little bit and slid around. Take the apex. Yeah, and the car was much more compliant there. And up to 90 again. It's a very nice little sprint circuit, this. You're not getting to any serious speeds, which is a little bit of a shame. But actually, as a first experience doing a track day in my Boxer, this is a really nice little circuit. Let's go a little bit faster here, see how the car handles it this time. Still wants to slide out. I think what we'll do in a second is take that trash control off so that we can get a little bit more of a feel of how the car wants to move around, around there. In terms of the handling though, it handles so well, the turning is so nice. I can really, really feel what my front wheels are doing. And because of the weight distribution of this car and it being mid-engined, it is so flat, so, so flat. And up to 96 there, that's the highest I've seen. I think we'll be doing over 100. Really stamping on the brakes there. They don't feel amazing. So I'll just bear that in mind. They're probably up to temperature now, but I'm going to take PSM off, see how it handles this corner. I think it will want to, yeah, it wants to slide around a little bit. PSM being Porsche Stability Management for those of you that don't know. Good little run to 
get used to how the car feels five or six laps or so and the brakes i can feel are quite hot so let's let it all cool off maybe i should have done a cooling lap actually but so i think as the day goes on providing it stays dry or at least starts to dry off more then we can start to push the car increasingly so and yeah see what this thing can really do but first impressions really really fun and definitely definitely more set up for the track than my z4 but no one's going to be surprised by me saying that so i'll just let the car do its thing for a minute pop the cameras off go and have a little cool down a little chill and then we'll come back out in a minute for some more fun so as you can see it's extremely wet and uh it's a shame really because i fancied getting the roof down today and taking the porsche on track with the roof off to get the full experience um but the weather just keeps getting worse and worse unfortunately as you can see next to me though we've got the famous hampshire photo i've done many videos with uh, luke my friend before but he's brought both his manual golf r and his crazy art car m140i down today so he's switching between the both of those which is really cool to be honest i'm a little bit envious of the four-wheel drive golf on today's sort of weather but yeah this has been really good fun uh, so far today not sure if i'll go out again we'll see how the day goes but what an awesome car what an awesome purchase i'm absolutely loving this thing okay it's time to go back out on track the weather well it's not rained since we last went out so i think the track's probably dried a little bit more that's a very loud m2 that's just pulling up next to me there put my funny hat on okay let's go put the phone away nice and secure in there got the gloves doing an oil check start the car it's not quite a temperature so we'll need to let it warm up a little bit which should be fine and this time I'm going to put PSM off straight away. So that's PSM off, air conditioning off, radios off. We've just got to let the car get up to temperature and then we're good to go. Okay, green light. is the pedal box is is very narrow and so I guess in normal road driving it's sometimes a little bit 
annoying actually because you find yourself hitting the brake instead of the throttle and vice versa but when you're driving in anger like we are today it makes heel and toe very easy and satisfying in this car so hard on the brakes into second just like that it's really nice with the pedal box being so narrow and very easy to judge this lap maybe we'll just do this one without any braking see if they feel any better there we have it guys there's my first track day experience in the porsche boxster s lots of you might be wondering how it compares to my previous bmw z4 and the truth of the matter is the porsche is far superior on track mainly because of its weight distribution with it being mid-engine it's inherently more planted more grippy it feels better the steering is much more poignant and it is a little bit faster too. It just feels more balanced and better set up for the track than my Z4 ever did. The Z4 is definitely more of a Grand Tourer and in fact, more enjoyable to do lots of miles in. Nonetheless, it's a shame about the brakes on this track day. I suppose they're just street brakes. So although they're new, they're just not designed to go through this sort of strain. So potentially I need to have a chat with the guys at ePorsche to see if I want to do more track days in the Porsche, which I really do, should I upgrade the brakes to something else entirely. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Apologies for all of the voiceovers, but as you can see, the wind 
and the weather was definitely not on my side and I did also manage to break my camera on the day also not fantastic so do apologize for these voiceovers but hope it hasn't taken away from the video and you've enjoyed seeing me take the boxer around a track for the first time I have to say definitely want to do it again I would like to take the car to Goodwood and or the Nürburgring do stay tuned make sure you're subscribed if you're not already give this video a like to help it on the good old YouTube algorithm and I'll see you all very very soon